it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over the top 10 worst places to let your child have a tantrum. So um, you never should let your child have a tantrum at all because when they have tantrums all the time, they think they're going to get their way all the time when they throw tantrums. So you ha should always teach your children never to throw tantrums rooms at any time or any place, especially in these places that I'm going to mention, because when a child has a tantrum all the time, they think it's okay for them to do it to get what they want. So hopefully this video will teach you guys never to let your children have tantrums anywhere, especially these places or out in public at all. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So number one on my list should be a grocery store. So you should never let your child throw tantrums in grocery stores. Sorry, I had to close my drawer because there's other people trying to get their grocery shopping done and nobody wants to hear your child screaming because grocery stores can echo quite a lot lot and there's a lot of people that can hear your child screaming throughout the restaurant and you never want to let your child cry and scream or kick in a restaurant because that is just not okay. Okay, because it shows that they can get, they can do that to get what they want, which they're not going to get what they want when they do that. Number two on my list should have to be a coffee shop. So you never should let your child have a tantrum in a coffee shop just because there's other people who are trying to relax and enjoy their coffee or some people might be studying for school. It's just not a good idea to let other people throw tantrums when they're I mean, it's not a good idea to let your child throw tantrums. Sorry, not other people. I meant to say child. Um, your child throw tantrums in a coffee shop just because you're going to disturb the other people doing their coffee and nobody um, who are drinking their coffee. I cannot talk today. And it's just not a very appropriate thing. And I do have a story about how one time I was working at my coffee shop job and I saw this child having a tantrum in the restaurant, which I'll link down below if you didn't see. Speaking of number three, number three on my list would have to be in a restaurant. So you never want to let your child have a tantrum in the restaurant because they're going to disturb the other people who are trying to enjoy their food in the restaurant. Number four, oh, so restaurant and not a lot of people want to hear your child crying while they're eating. Number four on my list would have to be in a department store. So you never want to let your child throw a tantrum in a department store because, um, there's other people trying to shop and and it's just not a good thing to let your child throw a tantrum when they're in a department store because I understand department stores get very tempting to children like they'll want toys that are in a department store or something they really want and they think it's okay to throw a tantrum to get what they want. It's just don't let your child throw a tantrum in a department store just because it's just not a good thing thing because it shows that they can get with their way by throwing a department in places like a department store where there's a lot of things they want to get. Number five on my list would have to be the movies. So never let your child have a tantrum in the movies just because movies are a place for people to enjoy and watch movies while snacking and they don't want and some people might have very difficult hearing and they can't really, um, they probably can't really hear when they're watching a movie if your child is screaming in the theater and it'll disturb the other people in the theater. Number six on my list would have to be on a public bus. So you never want to let your child throw a tantrum on a public bus because there's other people coming home from a very long day and nobody wants to hear your child screaming and crying when they're coming home from a super long day. Number Seven on my list should not be on BART. So you never want to let your child, scream, child throw a tantrum on BART because when your child is having a tantrum on BART, it's disturbing the other people on the BART train. And BART trains are very loud and echoey, so you don't want to, like, disturb the other people that are on the BART train, train um, coming home from a long day like school or work. Number eight on my list should have to be a library. So this is the absolute worst place to let your child throw a tantrum. And if your child throws a tantrum in the library, they could be disturbing somebody who's trying to do their homework, somebody who's trying to read. And libraries are quite echoey. And if your child is screaming and crying in the library, it's just never a good thing. 
thing just because um, they act, libraries echo and you're going to distract other people from either doing their homework or reading, which they come to the library to do. Number nine on my list should have to be on a plane. So you never want to let your child throw a tantrum on the plane because when you let your child throw tantrums on the plane, your child, your child can disturb the other people that are on the plane who are coming home from a vacation or if they're on a, a place they're going for work. And some people who are going on like super long flights don't want to hear a ch your child screaming and crying. Crying, if your child is screaming and crying or kicking seats, you have to get them to calm it down because it is just not appropriate. Number 10 on my list would have to be in a doctor's office at a hospital. This is like another worst place to let your place for a child to have a tantrum just because they might scare the other pe their children in the waiting room because I know there's a lot of kids who have fear of doctors and fear of needles and them cr screaming and crying in the waiting room will Bob will disturb the other people who are waiting for their doctor's appointments and they'll also scare other children who are waiting for their doctor's appointments as well. So you never want to let your child have a tantrum in a doctor's office in the waiting room because or a hospital because you're going to scare they're going to scare make the other children in the hospital feel scared. So definitely like if your child is getting scared of the doctor's appointment because they either have to get um, some blood drawn or vaccines, you need to calm your child down, down, especially if they're crying hysterically or having a tantrum. So Jerome, because they'll end up scaring the other children in the doctor's office who are very, who will get very scared as well. So those are my top 10 worst places for a child to have a tantrum. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video taught you as parents never to let your child have tantrums at any of these places at all because they could either disturb others or scare other children when they're at, throwing tantrums at these places. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in our video soon. Bye.